Welcome back everyone, Mariah here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something which I believe to be extremely important, but you're probably not gonna hear this anywhere else. You're probably not gonna find it on the recovery sheets when it comes to directions on after healing from any sort of plastic surgery. So just to give you a brief background, about seven months ago, I did 360 lipo and a BBL, as well as chin lipo, as well as arm lipo. And I think this video is going to be extremely beneficial for anyone that's getting any type of plastic surgery, specifically anyone that is anticipating to undergo a pretty extreme physical change in a very short period of time. So I'm coming to this video today with two separate perspectives. What I just mentioned, my 360 LiPo BBL, as well as my body changing very significantly over a 54 day long period of fasting. So back in 2018, I did an experiment to see how long it would take me to feel hunger. I had zero food, just water and salt for 54 days and I lost over 45 pounds. My body changed very dramatically in that short period of time. So, like I said, you're, what I'm gonna be talking about today, you're not going to find in the documents that the doctor probably sends you about how to recover, how to deal with your incisions, um, when you can exercise and how much you should be exercising and how long you they anticipate it to be until you are 100% healed. What I'm talking about today is the emotional side, the part where it takes a really long time for your brain to catch up with what is physically happening. And I say this because most people don't anticipate this and it becomes a very challenging part of the process. And what I'm gonna describe today, you're going to remember this, but you're not going to realize it until it happens to you. And then you'll reflect back and be like, I remember that one girl who had a similar experience, experience and you'll realize that you're not alone. It's a very common thing. It's something that many people experience and you can get through it. You just have to be patient. So what exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about the fact that it takes a significant period of time in most cases for our brains to catch up with how our body physically has changed, the new look of our body. So I've talked to many people about this. I've talked to people that have had breast implants. Um, I have you know, talked to people um, that just have had any particular physical change that happened in a very short period of time. And it's kind of like, for example, I will look at videos or photos of myself and be like, wait, that's what I look like? Because up here, I still have chubby girl mindset. Like when I visualize myself, I don't visualize myself in my new body. You see, I visualize myself in my old body because it's not like we spend all day long looking at a mirror 24 seven, which is completely and totally unnatural. Imagine how life different would be if mirrors didn't exist. But anyways, we had no idea what we actually looked like. So it takes, it's been taking for me, you know, it's been seven months, a long time for my mind to catch up to what my body looks like physically. Like I still look at photos and I look at videos and it, for me, it's very hard to believe what I'm seeing. And it's almost like, it's like this trick going on to where I think that my body looks one way, but then I see these videos and photos of something else and it's just this big confusion. So for me personally, my mind has not fully caught up to what I actually look like. And there are like at points in the beginning of the process that I've experienced to where it's really just like startling because our bodies change so dramatically in such a short period of time. And I talk about the experience of my body changing really dramatically over a 54 day long period of time. And although that was 54 days, you know, for example, I had 3.8 liters of fat sucked out of my body and half of it transferred to my booty. And that was like, from you know one afternoon to the to the from early afternoon to late afternoon and then I also had the second experience where I lost 45 pounds in like a 54 day period of time and in that case as well I had a really hard time accepting my body for what it was and I had a really hard time realizing what my body actually looked like so I've experienced this you know pretty much overnight change and I've experienced this 54 day change 
and in both cases my mind was never fully able to quite catch up. After the fast I didn't maintain my weight at about 140 pounds. I slowly gained weight back over a period of time but even over those few months my mind still didn't catch up. So there's this really strange and odd uh, emotional side when it comes to recovering after uh, any type of plastic surgery that you probably won't expect until you get there. And so, like I said, I mean, if any of you out there have had a procedure done and your doctor has talked about this in like the post-op sheet, I would love to know because in most cases, these surgeons don't necessarily um, have, they haven't had the experience of going through a surgery themselves. So because they haven't experienced it, they can't really share about it or prepare you for it. So there's also that component to it as well. So what are some of the things that um, I believe have helped me? Well, I mean, just surrounding yourself with people that are supportive of the choice that you make. So it's really like this barely has happened to me, but it has been a handful of times where someone would be like, oh, I can't believe you did that. And that cannot necessarily be a negative statement, but your mind will easily turn it in that direction. So I think surrounding yourself with people that are supportive of your journey, supportive of you making decisions for yourself and just being there for you and not saying things that make you second guess your decision. So surrounding yourself with the right people. And I think another component of it is just preparing and anticipating that it's a possibility. Um, for example, I had a friend that had breast implants and she was almost like startled by how fast her body changed. And she told me like at first she like hated them. And then over time she slowly adjusted to them and began to like them. And for me, like watching other people's experiences like on YouTube of any particular surgeries, what I've also learned is that um, people are in most cases not 100% satisfied. And I think that's because most people that probably choose to do a big procedure are very critical of themselves. I would say I'm quite critical of myself. Of, of myself. So they're critical of themselves. So then they kind of have like high expectations. I was able to manage the expectations part rather good. I think you have to go into it with realistic expectations. So then there's the expectations part of it. And at the end of the day, most people are never really happy with their results because it doesn't matter. They're never gonna be happy no matter what. They're always gonna find something to change. They're always going to find something that they want different. They're never going to be satisfied. They're never going to be able to accept their body fully for what it is. A surgery doesn't do that. A surgery doesn't like make you love yourself overnight. A surgery doesn't make you like fully accept your body overnight. That's definitely not how it works. All of that stuff comes from within. It's not an external thing. Does it maybe help a little bit? Yes, but to go from like someone that just like hates your appearance to just like absolutely loving it and not wanting to change anything about it overnight is probably not going to happen. So I hope I'm getting the message across that like you might have this emotional recovery side of it. Like you could be physically healed but not emotionally healed at some point in your journey. And um, for some people, therapy might be a good option. I didn't really take that route because I didn't think it was that serious. For me, it's more of like, my mind has not caught up. So there is a big disconnect to what I think my body looks like and to what my body actually looks like. So don't be discouraged if you find yourself from time to time feeling challenged or having a hard time accepting your body for what it is because that's a very common thing and not a lot of people talk about it and I think it's harder to navigate it and understand your feelings around it if you're not aware of it so um, I have not heard anyone else really talking about this after like plastic surgery in general it's definitely not after a BBL because you have to think of it like you know, you can get like a nose job, but then think about it. Like I have what, 15 incisions throughout my body. Like I had fat taken from like my entire torso, my chin, my arms, and then transferred. Like there's so many things that changed on my body. And so 
I think over time it's going to get there, but I just don't know how long. I am fully open to the idea that this could take actually years for my mind to catch up to my body. Um, for me, it's just like, I focus on just living like a positive lifestyle, always staying grateful for things, um, just celebrating the small wins and um, just being patient with myself and knowing that it's gonna take some time for my mind to catch up to my body because technically what I did is unnatural. There's nothing natural about what was done there. Most things in our modern world are not natural. We're not designed to um, deal with so many things. Like I just mentioned earlier, like mirrors. Mirrors are not natural. So I wanted to do this video outside. It just got done raining, but the sun is coming out. It's feeling really nice on my legs right now. And I hope you enjoy the sounds of the birds. And I wanna know if there's anyone out there that on their post-op sheet, their doctor mentioned something about the emotional recovery um, as well as the physical recovery. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I wish you well on your journey of not just physically healing, but emotionally healing from the experience of a 360 lipo BBL or any particular surgery in general. So that is all that I have for you today as I go out there and create a life that you love.